The new event Dia de Muertos is finally out in FC Mobile, so today I'm going to go over all the new content that came out with it, including opening some packs at the very end, and checking out how my investments are doing. So unfortunately the new event doesn't have its own chapter here, it is only through objectives, exchanges, and store packs. Now the first thing you want to look at is the quests. As you can see here, there are 11 in total, some of which you earn players like Hernandez and Alvarez, others you earn coins, and some of them you earn these new tokens. They're all really simple and you can get them done in probably 30 minutes to an hour. But the most important ones are the ones getting you the tokens for the event, and the other most important ones is getting you the players Alvarez and Hernandez. And the reason for that is because if we head over to exchanges, there are a handful of new exchanges, but they're a little different this time because instead of requiring certain overalls, they require exact players. And on this occasion, you have to have the base card of the upgraded version here. So that's why I said before, it's important to complete the quest. You get a free Javier Hernandez. You could now upgrade him if you have enough points to the 85 rated version. And the same thing goes for Alvarez. They do also have an upgraded Sanchez icon card. His base card, I think is 88 or 89, We'll check it out here in a second. There's no free way to earn them, so you will have to spend millions of coins to get this copy. The final exchange is probably the most useful as it is unlimited. You get 40 of the tokens each time and all you need is one of the event players. Now, of course, the only way to get them is to open up packs and that's what we're gonna head over to now. So here in the store, you can see these are all the new packs. They have a few things you could also get here. For example, this user logo, you can also get this emoji. I don't even know if that's what it's called. And then we also get a new kit. They also have packs here that you could open up with gems, but I don't think they're really worth it considering the max overall you could get is a 90 rated player. But if you want to go for it, feel free to do so. But today what I'm going to do is open up three of these ultra packs where we can get up to a 92 or a 94 rated player. So what do we get? We get a walkout, not an icon. Who's it going to be? Wait, is that going to be I'm waiting for it. Yes, 83 rated Jimenez. There's quite a few Mexican strikers, so I didn't know. I don't know the clubs. 83 rated, and as you can see, that's actually a decent pack. I got 2 million coins, but also I'm going to use three of these event players to get extra tokens through the exchange. Let's check out pack number two. Could we get an icon maybe? One of the new icons? No, not an icon. Nothing too great. Third and final pack. Can we please get something massive? We do get a walkout. It is not an icon. Italy, center mid. I don't know who to expect here. Fratezzi, okay. So those packs weren't the best, but unfortunately that's pretty much it for this new content. Really quickly here, let's go in and just show you guys what players are new. We have Sanchez, Hernandez, Marquez, and Campos. Four great icons, and then tons of other great players. Of course, they don't show everybody here but there are tons of great players from the event. So now that all the new content is out of the way, now I gotta talk about my investments. Cause if you watched my previous two videos, I did make a few investments that I was hoping would work out with the new exchanges. But because the new exchanges are completely different to anything we've ever had, my investments are failing. Quickly before we get into it though, the icon required for the exchange is already at max purchase quantity, so you're gonna have to wait for his price to refresh to hopefully pick him up. So with that being said, the first investment I made was Perez and he's currently being fire sold. And that's because a bunch of people expected new exchanges to come out and 84s to be in demand. But now that they aren't, people are selling them like crazy. But I gotta say right now, I think that is a mistake. I'm very confident that these exchanges are going to reset this Wednesday, just like the Libertadores exchanges did, because the UCL is a one and a half to two month program. And when these do reset and these exchanges come back, 84s will definitely be valuable. So with that being said, I'm actually glad that he's being fire sold because the lower his price goes, the more of him I'm going to pick up and the more coins I'm going to make Wednesday. Like I said in my previous videos, even if it didn't work out today, it's going to work out for the next exchanges. Same thing with Oryazabal, he's down to 466,000, 293 people trying to sell him. People keep selling him because I want to buy him for cheaper. And the exact same thing goes for these 82 rated cards, 82 rated striker here. This 82 rated striker is the exact same thing. And our center mid is the only one that's a bit iffy. He actually hasn't completely crashed because we can use him for one of the new UCL exchanges, which is the Royce today. 
Marco Royce came out requires an 80 plus rated midfielder so he's still relatively valuable but the other ones are definitely crashing. And all I'm going to do like I said is buy up more. I have 183 million coins and all I want to do is buy more copies of these cards. And if Wednesday comes around and there's still no new exchanges, I'm just going to hold on to them until we get another batch at some point. Because it's not like they're going to stop doing exchanges for the rest of the game. So this is a great learning lesson. Although this investment hasn't paid off immediately, it's always good to think about what's coming now in the future. And what can I be doing to take advantage of the current situation now? People are fire selling because they think there's no use in having these cards anymore, when really there's going to be a use very soon. So I'm going to buy up as many copies as I can and hopefully make tons of coins this week. Now if you are going to do the same, please understand that these could drop down to like 350, 370. I personally don't care, but if you only have a few million coins, this is probably not the right time to buy. Wait for them to go down a little bit further. But you never know, we can't predict the market. All we could make is educated guesses. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.